Next up, uh, we're going to talk about the new preset timeline. So let's go ahead and fire this demo that I got set up for you guys. All right. So here we go. Um, I want to show you what I have working right now, or what we're going to be working with today. Actually, um, I have some presets that I've already made. Uh, we just have a blank slate here, a uh, clip, and then a clip with some uh, effects on it. And if you want any more information on how to create these presets, how to work with the timeline, or how to work inside the visualizer, uh, we'll have a link for Hippo School down below. And it is a great resource uh, for anybody wanting to learn more about uh, Hypnotizer. Um, it, it's just a wealth of knowledge. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Um, all right. So the, yeah, these are our three clips that we're going to be working with today. And let's head over to our timeline. So the new preset timeline is a fast, simple, effective way to get your presets that you already have made onto a timeline and uh, playing your content. So up here at the top, you have the new preset timeline button. We're gonna go ahead and click that, and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, mix controls, and that's what we're gonna be working with today. So hit okay, and you can name your timeline whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna leave it like that, and let's hit edit. And anybody that is used to our standard timeline we have, you, you notice immediately this is a very slimmed down, um, compact, sleek version of a timeline. Uh, it's meant to be very simple, very fast, very intuitive. So all you gotta do is come down here and click on Mix One Presets, and you can see over in the Properties menu uh, our bank of presets that we have already made. Um, and it's very simple. You just move your playhead to wherever you need it, click on your preset, and there you go. It's added, and it's really just that simple. Uh, come down here, add this one, and add, actually, you know what, I'm going to change that up a bit. I want this one first, this one second, and it really is super easy to edit it, switch things around, and, and get your content playing really quickly. So if we go ahead and just hit play, you see our first preset, second preset, and third preset play. All right, I'm just gonna change the length of my timeline here real fast and put this in a loop. Now, if you select the keyframe to the preset, you actually have a, a couple options that you're able to play around with here in the properties panel. Uh, you can see the time of your preset, the, the bank, the slot number, and then you also have a fade type. So I'm gonna twirl that down and select crossfade and add a uh, one second uh, crossfade to this one. And I'm actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for, for all three real quick. <clears throat> all right. And then we go back to beginning and hit play. Crossfades up, across, and it should loop back. And it's really simple, really quick, really, really intuitive to get your, your presets that you already have made uh, onto a timeline and playing and looping. All right, so from there you have your content playing, um, but you actually, maybe you do want to have that full control. You want to have all those options, all those different twirl, twirl downs um, in order to access uh, all the different different options you have available to you. So what you can do is come over here to your timeline list, right click on your preset timeline and create a non-preset timeline copy. And what that's gonna do is actually create a standard timeline. And if we go in here and edit this timeline, uh, it looks very similar. It is, very, it is our standard timeline. It has taken all those presets that we had uh, on there and converted them to a standard timeline for you to have full control editing over. And yeah, that's, I believe that's all for our new preset uh, timeline.